Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. Today I've got a couple of little Tundra mods to take care of. One is kind of finishing up on the phone holder, and the other, we're going to change the seat position because I found it's just down just a hair in the front. And I don't have the electric seats. They're all manual. So I've got some seat jackers we're going to put in. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. But first off, let's take care of the phone jack. I'm going to cannibalize the one that I had in the Jeep Gladiator as far as the holders themselves go. I couldn't use the balls down here because they're the kind of screw-in type or something. They don't work. So I had to order some new ones. What I've got, let me show you here, are these. They just came from Amazon. There'll be a link down below if you want to check them out. But what they are, they're the kind that are threaded on the ends. And they just screw in, like so, into the existing uh, holder that I installed the other day. They are rubber on top, and then these clamps, if you will, just kind of screw on to them or tighten against them to hold. And then I have a magnet on the front, which is what I stick my phone to. So let's go over to the truck, get these put in, and then we'll get to the seat jackers. Okay, we're in the truck, obviously. And what I've got is the little ball that I bought here recently. And the one thing I like about this too is it has a little rubber piece around the inside. That's to kind of grab onto the metal, maybe stop any kind of vibration sounds or anything like that. Um, you have to decide which hole you want to go in, I guess. Um, I'm not quite sure, actually. I think maybe, uh, maybe I'll go in the front one, at least to start off. Good thing about this is, is if you don't like where you have it, of course you can change it later on. And I think I'm going to change my mind right now, and I'm going to go for the back one. So you want to screw that in, get it nice and tight, obviously. You don't want to have to kill it. Might even use some Loctite or something in there if you find that it starts to back off or anything. But I'm going to just hand tighten it for now and hope that uh, that rubber seal kind of gives me a little bit better grip. Now, the holder, which I showed you, uh, was in the Jeep actually. I've got here, just spreads apart at the bottom. Kind of go over the ball, if you will, and then get it where you want it. I'm going to loosely tighten it down, and then I want to make sure my phone uh, is where I want it to be from an angle perspective. Now, you can use this, obviously, for filming like I do, uh, or just to have your phone up here as a place to store it, I guess. Now, what I want to see... Oh, and one other thing I'll tell you, I do have a plate on the back of the phone. It's just uh, adhesive. These work really well. You can get these on Amazon too. I um, never had one fall off or come loose, so they work really great. They just grab onto the magnet like so, and you're good to go. So I have to adjust it, make sure that I've got it uh, facing me, because again, I do shoot videos in here. So I want to make sure, and you guys can see that's where I'm at right now on it. Uh, I think I might actually angle it a little bit to the right and a little bit down. But once I get that set the way I want it, uh, then you just tighten the uh, little T-tightener or screw over here. And that's it. Uh, pretty simple thing to do. It's a great place to put your camera. Again, if uh, you're filming or you just want a place to stick your phone where you can see it without laying it down here somewhere in the dash area. Kind of gives you a little bit more room. All right, I've got both in. That's what it looks like in the truck. And you can see I've got one there. So if I want to take shots out of the front of the truck, I can do that. Or if I want to film myself, I can do that as well. Pretty cool little simple mod. All right, let's get to the seat jackers. Very curious to see because, again, my truck does not have electric seats and I can't adjust the front up or down but then again even in the Tacoma I couldn't adjust the front up high enough for it to be comfortable always felt like I was hanging over the edge on my thighs so the way these come you get two sets one kit is one set I guess and it comes with three different heights you have the base you can just use that you have the next one 
And the next one, I believe these are, what, about a quarter inch or so, just eyeing them. And you can put on whatever you want. If you're gonna use just two of them, you use the shorter bolt that they provide. If you're gonna use all three, you would need to use the longer bolt. I'm gonna start off with just two. Now, as far as tools, you need a 17 millimeter socket. That is for these. And a Torx 50, a T50 bit for the hardware inside the truck. And then they suggest some blue Loctite. Once I get it set the way that I want, I'll put a little bit of blue Loctite on the bolt, whichever one I end up using, uh, just to secure it. That's it, pretty simple. So we're gonna start in the rear. Um, you're supposed to loosen the rears a little bit. Don't take the bolt all the way out so that you can push back on the seat to be able to slip these under. So we're gonna start there and loosen the backside just so we can adjust the seat the way that we want it up in the air to get those underneath. This is pretty simple. I don't think there's even anything in the way. Maybe it's the trim level I have, I'm not sure, but there are no covers over the bolts. So it should be pretty simple just to loosen these up. We're gonna see how tight they are, I don't know. Hopefully we don't set off any airbags, you know, craziness. Doesn't say anything about uh, eliminating the battery or turning the battery off, so. And I can tell already they're, they're in there. So let's put a little torque on them and I'm probably gonna have to get you guys out of the way. They are very, very tight. All right, once you get the rears loosened, again, don't remove them all the way. You wanna go ahead and remove the two bolts in the front. Again, it's a Torx T50 or a T50. Um, when I put the seat back, this actually just fell off. <laughs> this is the cover uh, over here on the side. It just kind of slips over like so. We will, will be reusing it. Uh, looks like uh, there is one on the other side here as well. It's a little bit dark, I know. Just push it off like that, that's it. Set it to the side. Now, we'll just remove those bolts. And they are in there pretty tight. Nothing you can't do, but just beware uh, that you're gonna have to put a little bit of torque on them to get them off, like so. But once they're loose, as you can see, they turn pretty easily. You can do it obviously by hand. And that's the length of them, not very long. Let's get the other one off of here. And that's it. Now, we wanna grab our seat jackers. And the way that they fit, the way that I saw, is the uh, little holes they have in the front. That's for an accessory you can get for it. Face towards the gas pedal, if you will. Wow, the seat uh, just kind of falls back. I didn't really even do anything and the seat went back. So, pretty easy. As I mentioned, I'm only gonna use, uh, let's see, I'm only gonna use two of them here. And I'm not quite sure, let's see, I'm gonna use the front hole to bolt through. So you only wanna use the shorter bolt. Let's see if I can get that started in there. I will take these back out and use some uh, Loctite. I just wanted to see, make sure that they thread in there properly. It looks like they do. Let's check the other one. Yeah, nice. So they do thread in there well, that's a good thing. Now. Let's go ahead and get the other one positioned properly. Like so. 
And then we're gonna drop the seat back down. Obviously you wanna put the bolt through the, the seat as opposed, or the seat uh, foot, if you will. Like so. And we'll see if I can't get that one going in a little bit. Get this one going in a little bit. This is where you need that 17 millimeter socket. And I'm just gonna hand tighten them down because I wanna jump in and make sure that this is the right height for me. So let me go ahead and get the bolts rest of the way in, tightened by hand, and then I'll see how it feels. I got it all done, very simple mod. Uh, I did decide to use just one of the seat jacker levels, not uh, two like I had originally thought. Uh, the other ones are over here. It just felt like it brought the seat up too high. One feels just perfect to me. Uh, we'll see, if I don't like it that way, I can change it later. Uh, just a, a way to kind of get comfortable in the seats, especially since I'm gonna be taking a long, long ride in this truck uh, next year. So it'll give me plenty of time to make sure it's the way that I want it. Now, as far as those front covers, they just slip right back on. It's pretty simple to do. You just kind of put them over the edge, give it a tap, and they go right back in. Uh, otherwise, you would never know there's anything there. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know if you've uh, put these in. What was your experience with them? And did you find them to be helpful? Did you finally get it tweaked to the way that you want it? And how many spacers are you running with? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.